Hello, today I'm going to show you how to set up CPM on your FujiNet system. So the first thing you need to do is go to FujiNet.online. Assuming you haven't updated to the latest firmware, you're going to need to download it. So click on download. Now scroll down to get the latest firmware for your operating system. And now we wait for the uh, file to be downloaded. Let's speed this up by 10 times. Go to where you downloaded your file, right click on it, and choose Extract All. Now click on Extract. And well, how about that? Uh, we have no files. Uh, this is probably because either Windows Defender or Microsoft Security Essentials has detected it as a virus. It is not a virus. If, uh, if it detects it as a virus, um, temporarily disable your antivirus by going into Settings and turning off Real-Time Protection. Now right click on the file and choose run as administrator. Select your COM port. Uh, mine is COM33. I've had a lot of devices plugged into this uh, old system. And then click on flash FujiNet firmware. Now this is an old Windows uh, 7 system that I'm running on. so. You'll see some odd behavior in the uh, console screen. It doesn't matter. Yeah, it works fine. Uh, as long as it says it flashed successfully at the end. So it's uh, finished flashing and a whole bunch of text is going to scroll right past uh, where it says it uh, is completed successfully. So I'm going to scroll back. And I'll just uh, circle where it says uh, flashing is complete. Now the next step is to take your SD card out of your FujiNet. Uh, do that with the power off, please, and uh, put it into your PC. And we'll pretend my drive M is my SD card. You need to create a CPM folder, all in uppercase. Inside the CPM folder, you need to create the letters A through P, all uppercase. And inside each of those folders, to be complete, create a directory uh, 0 through F that represents the user ID in each one of those drives. Uh, A through P by the way is each of the drives and then uh, A0 is where you would normally log in and so put your CPM files into there. So now you have all your directories created, A through P, which represents the drive letters, and 0 through F, which represents the user IDs. And in A0, you should put your initial CPM files. Uh, we'll have a link in the description as to where to download those from. And now you should safely eject the SD card. Now that you've got your SD card back into your FujiNet, let's get CPM up and running. 
Well, the first thing we need is a terminal program to get into the CPM system. So a terminal program is available at atari-apps.errata.online. Now go into the comms directory and select flicker term and mount that into slot one as read only. Pressing escape, confirm that uh, flicker term is your bootable device. Hold down the option key and keep it held down so basic does not start. Now that we're in the terminal program, we need to change our baud rate to 9600 baud. Right now it's 19.2, right beside the VT100 there. Pressing the help on the Atari will show you this screen. And what we need to change the baud rate is Control Shift and G. Keep pressing that keyboard combination until it says 9600 baud. And now you're ready to log into CPM. Type ATCPM, press enter, and you're in CPM. That's the uh, A0 prompt. Type DIR to see your directory. And you're ready for some CPM goodness.